Hi there, it's Robert here. As I said in my last video, I didn't uh, get any bases with my Exodus Wars miniatures. And, um, well, obviously I need some. So I went online looking at the prices and realized that um, 6mm bases are kind of expensive. With the cheapest ones, uh, something about this size, you know, 10 by 40 millimeters or whatever, being about 10p, it's 10 to 20p really to, per base, which I felt was, it's cheap, but um, it still adds, you know, about 10% to your cost or something like that once you do that and you're magnetizing and so on. So I thought I'd make my own bases and uh, see how that went and I was quite happy with the results so I thought I'd do a tutorial. Okay, so here's what you need to make a cheap 6mm base. So I have an old DVD case, a cutting mat, and a scalpel with, uh, if possible, both a new blade and also an older one that you're not really using much anymore. Then you're going to need a measuring tape and a straight stick, or you could just use a ruler instead. Obviously the 6mm miniatures have to be there, along with some super glue. But you'll also need some sandpaper and then some basing material with PVA glue to stick it on. So in this tutorial I was originally going to use plastic card, but unfortunately I live in the middle of nowhere and since I don't have any hard plastic card on me I wasn't able to get any. So what I did instead was I looked around for something that might do and I found that if you take a look at the inside of a DVD case, I'm going to zoom that out so you can actually see that it's a DVD case. If you take a look on the inside, you have a very large flat area here, which is, um, you know, pretty good, pretty sturdy. Uh, you need something about that sturdy for your, um, for your bases, because you don't want them breaking after you've uh, put everything together. So I decided I'm actually going to make bases out of a DVD case. You really, I mean, this is really, really cheap of me, I know, but um, I've, you know, DVD cases are what, like 50p? And as you can see, you can get a lot of bases out of this. Now, this is one I've been working on earlier. So I'm just going to show you a couple of the techniques I used to put the base together. First things first. Um, now, I'm sorry this is all black on black, so let's move that for a moment. Uh, as you can see, there's a line along here, a, a rim for the base. What you want to start off with doing is just go down along that line numerous times, making sure you're going quite accurate. Now, as you can see, this is a good blade that I'm using here. So you just want to go over this over and over again, and then press down harder and harder as you go until you eventually get through. Now, I don't want to go through all of this because it takes about five minutes. But when you're done, you're going to end up with something like this. It's uh, just the edge of this side here. And um, it's quite handy because this happens to be uh, about, let's see, about six or seven millimeters. So uh, this is the minimum uh, width for your bases, really, if you're going to make a stand of miniatures. And I, I really like this look, so I'm going to try and aim for this look here. Um, if So what I did was I got this and I put it down and just held it in place. And again, went along the line very carefully and just made sure I drew a line. Now I've already done this one here. Um, but basically, as you can see, I just went over and over and over again until I could really use my cutting mat and press down a few times and just cut all the way through. And be careful that you don't slip or you'll have a line like this, uh, which really is, is not going to help you. So once you've done that, um, you can cut through here and break it off and then all you need to do is measure out uh, the length of your base which in this case 
is going to be 40 millimeters. So I'll just get it there, and it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. But I'll just cut it through, and pretty quickly I'll have the base here. I'm, gonna, I'm really rushing through this just for the video, so obviously put a little bit more care and attention in, or you'll end up with something a bit wonky. Okay, so that's how to do one of the easier base sizes. What happens if you want something a bit more complicated? You know, because using um, using one of these to just draw a line over and over makes it a lot easier. But um, if you want something more complex, like a 20 mil by 20 mil base, you're going to have to do a lot of cuts all along the way here and uh, try and be as accurate as possible unlike myself at the moment uh, you can actually probably see well, maybe not let me handle this you can probably see just along here where I was rushing last because I rushed to make the last one and I have a bit of a leftover edge. You really need to avoid that. So once you have your marks with your knife, you want to draw a line down and it'll be 20 millimeters in and then you can uh, go 20 millimeters along and cut it. So you can get a lot of bases. I'm, I'm not going to go through all of it, I'm just doing this really quickly. Uh, so the next thing you have is a base which um, needs a bit of work. Now, feel it, and you'll feel that one side is, on most DVD cases, one side is going to be a bit rougher, and one side's a bit softer. You want the soft side, you want to grab a bit of sandpaper, and go over the soft side, that's right, you actually want to mess up the soft side, and there's a very particular reason for this. And make sure that you're pretty rough with your sandpaper work, don't um, put a lot of effort into smoothing it, because you actually want to make this side rougher. And the reason you want it rough, you know, I, I'd say this is the minimum uh, thickness of your sandpaper. You'd actually be better off with a uh, larger sandpaper that's going to make more of a grain. So you don't want fine sandpaper. The reason you want it thick like this is so that when you glue your miniatures on, uh, they'll actually stick. Now, uh, I would recommend if there's any amount of grease on these pieces beforehand, you need to wash them before you sand them. Then once you've sanded them, uh, just wipe off with a, a little bit of the sandpaper. If you wash them after you sandpaper them, you might actually remove some of the roughness you're aiming for. So once you've done those steps, you can just glue the miniatures on. It's pretty easy and uh, make sure that any flash is removed from the bottom of these bases and I recommend using super glue personally. Uh, after that you just add on some flock. Now what I've been doing, and I hope you can see this, uh, is I have actually been putting flock around the base. I have not been putting any flock on uh, the models bases themselves and this is because you need it to line up if you're going to take the cheapskate way you need to actually pay attention to, to at least this part um, which is putting the flock in between the models and you will need to get some kind of tool you can use a knife if you want um, to just get those uh, extra bits of flock out and also it's good to do a once over on all of the miniatures, make sure there's no flock sticking into their armpit, which seems to happen on every other model for me. Another thing I should say is, if you don't have sandpaper, um, I would suggest using a scalpel. Now, of course, you don't want to just use a good knife like this. What you can do is get rid of that one, get an old one, chipped one, doesn't matter. The worse the better, as long as it's not so rusty you're going to actually cause damage to yourself if you cut. Uh, but this chipped one here will do. 
and you can just draw lines down and it will help the base become even rougher and be very careful not to go towards your fingers. All right, that's the end of my tutorial for how to make bases for six millimeter miniatures for less than a penny, basically. I hope you enjoyed it and watch out for my next video, which will show you how to magnetize these bases cheaply.